For the second time in as many days, a Florida teacher is fighting the State Department of Education over a test that thousands of teachers are failing. I-Team investigator Katie Legrone is in Orlando tonight with all new developments from her ongoing exclusive investigation. Katie. Paul, a second teacher offering up testimony here in Orlando today on why he too believes how these teacher tests are being scored is full of problems. Daryl Bryant never thought teaching would land him in front of a judge. I wrote an essay that should be scored higher than the score I received. The Central Florida teacher who's been teaching PE at a charter school for three years is fighting the state after failing the essay portion of the state's teacher certification exam three times. I would like to be shown why what I wrote, my essay, how that fails to pass based on what is stipulated in the grading process. Today, he defended his writing, describing the use of tutors and his history as a writer and editor for the Boys and Girls Club. Mr. Canto, how are you? But the state and testing contractor Pearson had their own defense, describing a thorough scoring process that's fair, detailed, consistent. The state's attorney going so far as to say the process makes error almost impossible. And do you have any doubt that... Betsy Griffey is a Pearson chief reviewer who reviewed Daryl's essay. I am convinced that the process is substantial and credible. The exam is part of a battery of must-pass tests for teachers in Florida. Since the exam was made tougher in 2015, failures on portions of the test have reached an all-time high, up nearly 30 percent in two years. Do you have any response to these frustrated and failing teachers? Absolutely no response today. The state said nothing. Daryl hopes what he divulged to a judge says everything to give him a chance in a public Florida classroom. Something is missing if, if a Daryl Bryan is not in the public school system. And Daryl Bryant's case, one of two ongoing legal battles for the state, both of them, of course, involving these teachers who keep taking these tests and failing them. Of course, DOE pointing out today that the vast majority of first time takes test takers of this exam, this essay exam, 69% passed this test. A final ruling at least a month away. Live in Orlando, I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.